California? 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 <laughs> the middle class famous tour is coming to the left coast? Yeah, guys. April 3rd, we're going to be in San Francisco. April 4th, what? we're going to be in Los Angeles. April what? 6th, we're going to be in La Jolla. Get your tickets now. It's a little bit of stand-up. It's a little bit of AYG. It's a whole lot of fun. Do it. Ooh. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out they grew up to be classy uh -huh. or if they're just a big old piece of shit. Trash, trash, I'm your host, trash. Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. Yep. She is back from spring break. Okay. Abruptly. Oh. She had some trouble with the girls down there. One of her implants blew up. <laughs> huh? We're having a good time. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from across the table. This is a family episode. We're circling the wagons this week. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, dude. <laughs> He's the CEO of Are You Garbage, and it's coming around paycheck time. So show him a little respect. You know, put in a good word for me. Leave a nice Yelp review. Hey, the fat guy's great. We love him. Hey, my, Try to keep me around here. My fat waiter ate my mozzarella stick. <laughs> Trying to unionize over here. Toby's playing hardball. Real communista, that kid. Give it up for KJ. Kevin James Ryan. Hey, pal. Hey, gang. Thanks. I got the giggles today. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Those are review numbers. Those are almost true to roof. Fantastic. Those are getting a set, second, second set of legs on them. Obviously, full video available on YouTube. Those numbers are true to roof. Cooking. Doing good on the YouTubes. Then, um, fuck. I don't know. Patreon.com backslash are you garbage. Come is. on. What are you doing? Patreon.com, baby. Sign up. You get bonus episodes of AYG. Episodes of Hard Feelings, which, by the way, is the breakout hit. That's it. You got to get that there. That new one we got about to drop is real scandalous. Oh, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> a little bit of a teaser. We go over our bank accounts, and it's tax time, and someone's behind the eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> At least I got an eight ball. Huh? And listen, it's not me and Toby. Take the edge uh, off. Guys, check it out. Uh, and then, obviously, we're on the road. Uh, California, L.A., by the time Let's you're here, this is probably sold out. Um, How about that? Los Angeles, California. Thank you. Love. Thank you for all showing the, All the Cali's buying tickets, but fucking scoop them up now so you're Please. not left out in the cold. San Fran, La Jolla, let's fucking go. I got a big bowl of Chipino on my mind when I get up there. Yeah. Continue. That's it. What do you mean? We just plugged the shit out of the dates. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man. He was real lippy in the car. <laughs> These two have been at each in. other's throats all day. <laughs> I love that I'm out just watching. By the way, I'm not saying for certain, but word is there's some video evidence out video evidence out there of some poserness from somebody. I'm going to cut that. <laughs> <laughs> He's so scared of it. T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up? What's up, T-Bone? Yet another Foleyville spin zone. We have a lovely <laughs> drive-in. We're listening to Van Morrison. We're talking about how great that new John C. Riley basketball show is. You, then you start bitching at me on fucking 38th Street about, uh, 39th Street about how I'm on Twitter on uh, the car. We're stopped in traffic. I'm no, checking the, car the tweets. Was, the car was moving, and this guy's reading about yeah, Putin. I'm the fuck out. Yeah, no. You got no room to talk. You'll break at green lights. Yeah. You do stink at driving. That's not true. I'm it, cautious. You are, which, which is a danger to everybody else on the street. But I'll Only be okay. guy will be doing 45 down 2nd Avenue when you fucking pull the e-brake at a green thing, light. I'll tell you one thing. Just in case someone's coming. One thing that'll never happen to me as a driver, I'll never be involved in like a 90 car pileup. Yeah, just 87 rear end accidents. <laughs> hey, what happens behind me is their problem. <laughs> but I wouldn't, because you see people driving down, down the highway, you're like, we can't believe this happened yet. Everyone's doing 45. There's fucking two feet of snow on the ground. We're not talking about that. We're talking about sunny day. No fucking water on the ground, and you're stopping at green lights. That's crazy. You, 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 you almost come to a complete stop at green lights. That's how they carjack you. Or that's how they T-bone you. From that's the how they side. carjack you. Sometimes. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They wait till it turns green, and then they jump on you. What? And their carjackings have been up because they got these gas prices going through the roof. <laughs> yeah, well, I fill it up with just steal a car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to wait at the pump. <laughs> like a jerk off. Steal a Corolla with a family in it. <laughs> Toby, if you carjack the car, 
and you got down the block and it had a baby in it, would you let the baby out? I'd raise it as my own. <laughs> <laughs> Teach it how to steal cars. Yeah. <laughs> Get that thing a skateboard. Too sweet. <laughs> I'd use a little bastard as my grease man. Yeah. <laughs> Put him in the vents. <laughs> <laughs> this is my son, Toby Jr. <laughs> we go town to town doing kickflips. <laughs> Not getting haircuts. He's an Ollie man. <laughs> We're here. It's good to see you boys. I love you both. Oh, uh, I had, I had a Butter me up for something. I had a, well, I tried to get you to pay for my haircut, but you said you won't. Listen, it's yeah, it's not me paying for it's not my it's our money. I just Still tell you when, my head when around that. I, I st- just tell you when you can and can't use it. I feel like somebody else pays that bill. I don't know. I, because I never see it. That's free money to me, that gold card. Woo-wee! Yeah, well, I mean, wait till we got to pay that thing this month. <laughs> it is hefty. <laughs> hey, well, listen, we ain't, we ain't that liquid either. It's <laughs> tax season. I had to file an extension. <laughs> In blood. <laughs> I gave him my pinky toe. I said I'll send the rest, of, send the rest around August of when my birthday is. You said, you said your ear let him know you mean business? <laughs> Why would he cut his ear off? I don't know. The guy's crazy. <laughs> Skip the extension. Yeah, just fucking give it. I'll see. Patty wanted Whoa, what to What was that? There's a, there's a mask behind there. Okay. Who's still wearing masks, by the way? I do. Fucking Nancy Pelosi you over have here. have to in an Uber. Ah. And you jam me up. Now I got to take a picture of myself and send it to every <laughs> Uber driver like I'm trying to fuck them. <laughs> that drop your star rating a little bit? I don't know. Yeah, you're in the toilet now. <laughs> I get all the shitty cars to come pick me up. <laughs> Fucking dude on a motorcycle it's, the other day. It's a city bus. <laughs> <laughs> Three more stops, and I'm at your place. <laughs> Thank you, Toby. Uh, Appreciate. Wow, oh, that's good. Knock everything over. <laughs> he looks extra scruffy today, folks. You can't tell. He, it looks like you did wash your hair, T-Bone. I'll give you that. <laughs> In the river. <laughs> <laughs> A <laughs> couple of couple of night crawlers in there. Yeah, they're talking pretty tough for a guy in maternity pants. <laughs> these are no, these are these are Lululemons. <laughs> Lulu, these Lulu. are Lululemon pound cakes. <laughs> <laughs> lemon. Hey, those are my nice pair of lemon cellos. <laughs> Yo, these are my poo poo lemons. <laughs> my Lululemon my- meringues. <laughs> Like poo poo lemons, you're just shitting on them. <laughs> the shit just disappeared. <laughs> New poo poo lemons. It, it whisks the shit right off your body. Now these are my these, these are my good workout pants. My good job. Hey, you wore to work. That doesn't make any sense. They're going straight to the fucking gym right after this. Friday night, where are you gonna be, huh? Some pizza parlor with your buddies. <laughs> talking about not me I'll be lying right to my trainer's face yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna be try- I'm gonna be pulling the wool over some poor guy's eyes in Astoria <laughs> what are you talking about straight to the gym I said yeah and all- lie to that man <laughs> to do that <laughs> and bamboozle a poor 28 year old Jim's his coke dealer <laughs> going straight to the gym nothing on that <laughs> wow and the Hindenburg went down <laughs> ladies and gentlemen <laughs> oh the humanity <laughs> Oh, we're having a good time. Uh, Patty had a giddies. question. Patty's, yeah, can I hold 20? <laughs> no, Patty. <laughs> she needs a payday loan. <laughs> a PDL? Woo, that's pretty good. Get things straightened out with the VA. Um, <laughs> she had a question. Sure. It's mild. <laughs> But then I have more of a confession, something I, that I have to tell you, which I really shouldn't say in a public episode. Okay. But I'm going to anyway. All right. For the sake of the broadcast. Uh, gotta, yeah, we got to move some tickets. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Victim of her own success. Here. I know. Shit's got to get weirder. <laughs> I'll be fucking my cousin in a couple of weeks just to keep the lights on. <laughs> Next Patreon bonus. <laughs> I fuck my cousin, Eric. <laughs> um, silverware in the dishwasher. Should it go right side up or upside down? Uh, oh, this is big. Is it? I have a couple of working theories on this. <laughs> okay. Well, forks don't fit upside down. What do you mean? Jam them in? Oh, do you have the thing that opens up like the whole, oh, the, the open top tray. I see what you're saying. Okay. The one I have now has like slits that you stick in and they stick up. I'm talking about the dishwasher. I understand. You have a dishwasher? Yeah. You do? Yeah. What the fuck? And I can't get a goddamn haircut? <laughs> you believe this fucking guy? 
<laughs> Why did this happen? <laughs> Dude, you, we've talked about me having a dishwasher. A dishwasher? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at you. <laughs> I look told at- you I, I have a nice building. Way nicer than what, you know, that rat's nest out there in Astoria you're living in. <laughs> I'm in a city. I'm a city guy. Oh, will you stop? Manhattan. Manhattan. Listen. Yeah. So my current dishwasher. Yeah. That I loaded this morning. Yeah. With your underwear. <laughs> You know the only difference between a dishwasher and your mom? Uh-huh. I can't do it. She listens. <laughs> she knows it's a joke. <laughs> it's a harsh one, though, man. Uh, one's easier to load. I don't know. Your mom doesn't follow me. My dishwasher doesn't follow me around when I put a load in it. Yeah. <laughs> the dishwasher doesn't, doesn't blow my phone up for a week after I dump a load in it. <laughs> Folks, that's a good piece of business. I don't care who you are. I think it was washing machine originally, but I'm crying. Dude. I got the giggies. Blow up my phone. <laughs> and yes, we could put them in any way we want. They have a yeah, nice Yeah, like dishwasher. the one of my mom's. Yeah, mine's more compact and because they're on a steady. Mm-hmm. Mine's more compact, obviously. My mom's at, yeah. And my wife puts everything facing up. And I end Forks, up, knives, nah, even, even like, sharp knives. And I cut myself every fucking time. I'm Jesus. like, you got to put them down. It's a safety concern. We can't do that at our house for the dog because the dog does a little pre-wash, if you must know. What? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Beep. <laughs> you, your, your dog licks all the dishes before they go in? Yeah. I am never She licks it. all the dishes in the dishwasher while I'm loading it. Can't get Daisy. Get out of here. <laughs> Daisy. Yeah. Yeah. And she just comes back. So you can't put a steak knife in there. The dumb broad will fucking rip her tongue. Yeah. And she's a little baby. Can't have that happen. Sure. But. Yeah, I think. I'm pretty sure that was a booger that was just on my hand. I saw and I was. This is how bad it is fucking working with you. I was hoping you were picking a scab. I was was placing all my eggs in this scab It could have been some Elmer's, some glue. From what? What were you gluing? Not in 25 years. <laughs> I know, if yeah. I opened the bottle. <laughs> Stuff sticks, dog. You know, it was a good time putting Elmer's on your hand and then <sighs> peeling it off. Of course. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I did that. Did pull, the pull fuck- it real quick. Has the it's not a booger, it's glue. Has that ever worked? I have a feeling it worked like once in 1984, yeah, and you've yeah. been running that ever since. Yeah, you get something it works with. You it's stick middle, with it. Middle of art, art class. <laughs> it's glue, I swear. Shut up, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even a real teacher. <laughs> Give me another box of macaroni, will you? <laughs> Bring it up dead day this time, will you, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> Man, I never got that. Even as a kid, I was like, what the fuck is this? What? Making shit with macaroni? Ah, uh, no. Fucking bullshit. This is perfectly good food. <laughs> <laughs> I just could never do it. All the watercolors. There was kids that would <laughs> kill it. <laughs> They're scraping glue off, throwing them into the pot one by one. <laughs> Don't worry about that glitter. It'll be all right. <laughs> I didn't get that shit at all. I thought that was whack. Yeah. All arts and crafts I thought was beat. I remember the thing that was a lot of fun was making those bot the shoe box, the, the, the dioramas. Oh, I with think. like a little scene inside? Woo! You yeah, put that the, was awesome. You put the thing up, like, you know, like sideways like that. And then it's like 3D. You build it. I remember, blew my fucking mind. The dioramas. Fantastic. We'll make a little scene inside. You make the scene. Well, in, I remember I was in like second or third grade. You had a, We got like an animal and you had to make that habitat, like, you know, a cheetah or whatever in the jungle. Yeah. Or the tree. And someone for like water put a mirror down. Like you would like be able to. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, yo, mom, what the fuck are you doing? Just having me color the cardboard with fucking blue. I'm like, these people got fucking. You're just as a dead bird in it. <laughs> <laughs> I shot this in the backyard. <laughs> Ugh, that was big. Those di- that that was fun. I liked that. I, I I could draw a little bit. I was in a little bit of a drawer. Really? Yeah, I was a little. Come I'm tell- on, I'm telling you, not good. still life. What are we talking about? Still life's were all right. The really? fruit. The yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do the Miss fruit. Lu- shout out to Miss Lucente. Yeah. You got any evidence of this back at the house in a, in a in the crawl space somewhere? I doubt it. I doubt it. We sold it all. It was worth a pretty penny back in the day. <laughs> That's a kippy. <laughs> That's the early stuff. Ooh, I got a question for you. I'm listening. Do you or anyone in your 
family pronounce it drawing. No, that's tough. Drawing. Yeah, I got plenty. Drawing. I got a couple people, which is bad. He can draw. Instead of karaoke, it's karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a new version of karate. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker was doing karaoke. Yeah, so they're down there doing karaoke, and I was like, what the fuck? Yikes. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, you know, it's karaoke, karaoke. A lot. Of, that's the same person does Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday. Yeah. I'm pretty sure most of my family says Italy. Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Italians is Little there, Italy. too. It's, it's the Italians. Yeah. They don't call them that. <laughs> Let's move on from here. <laughs> <laughs> don't get anybody in trouble. Uh, we wait, I remember just making ashtrays. Oh, with like pot or with like uh, Play-Doh. Or you, not Play-Doh, no, but like you take it back to the kiln. We'd fire shit. Yeah, we had that for a minute. What? I'm telling you, Shady Grove, we fucking had that. Shady, that's, first of all, that sounds like a retirement home or something. <laughs> Shady Grove Estates. <laughs> Where you check in but can never leave. You can check out but never leave. Shady Grove was, it was the It was weird that we had a Mahjong team. <laughs> what Shady Grove? That was your elementary school? Shady Grove Elementary. Shout out to it. Skip back Pike. Shady Grove, yeah. In the mornings, we do pickpocketing. <laughs> <laughs> At lunch, we go under the bridge. <laughs> and then in the afternoon, we're running liquor. <laughs> I'm that, bootlegging. That was the first time that uh, a teacher ever made it fun of you. me for being fat. <laughs> <laughs> not, the, not the last time, either. Uh, I had one of those uh, hostess pies. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? They were they were eclairs. They were huge. They were like this big. Kind of, yeah. And we had snack time. That was still when you got snack time. You got snack time and a lunch. And at snack, I was crushing one of those in a high C ecto cooler. And I hear her go, that's not a snack. That's a lunch. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Lady, fucking blowing on my spot, you dumb bitch. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm sitting here trying to relax, have a good time yeah, before I play. Before I play Foursquare, shouldn't you be out back catching a smoke and I calling know. your divorce lawyer? Oh, fuck, you're a teacher at Shady Grove. Give me some lip. <laughs> Kip, let's talk about Bumbus. Bumbus for the third time. Talking about Bumbus, <laughs> baby. Three. Bumbus. Yeah. Bumbus mission is simple, gang. Make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. Yes. Look at that. They're giving it away. So when you buy Bombas, you're also giving back to somebody you need. Yes. And that's nice. Yeah. Bombas designed their socks, shirts, underwear to be clothes that you can't wait to put on every day. Everything they make is soft, seamless, tagless, has a, has a luxurious, cozy feel. And if you know anything about the old Kipperino, I'm big into luxurious feel. Uh, they're made. I don't know why you're looking at me like that. They're made from. You look at me like a snake. They are made from super soft materials like merino, merino wool, pima cotton, and even cashmere. Dan Marino. <laughs> you got Dan Marino. These guys are all right. Joey Merlino wool. <laughs> That's a deep cut. What the Philly gangster? The Philly mobs. Joey Merlino. <laughs> Uh, so go to bombas.com slash garbage and get 20% off your first purchase. That's bombas, B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash garbage for 20% off bombas.com slash garbage. Do it. Do it. Hello, fresh. Hello, fresh. Hello, fresh. Hello, fresh. You know it. Love it. I know it. Yeah. The Foley family loves is it. It's not only just a spokesman, mm -hmm. but also a client. Clientele. Patty's been noshing on Hello Fresh for the last couple of months mm -hmm. down there, courtesy of old Uncle Hank. Yeah. And that bird can... likes a free meal, that one. Yeah, she's a free bird. She <laughs> likes it. Hello Fresh is fantastic, guys. They really, really are. We love them. Everything comes pre portioned. You got nice ingredients. Farm fresh ingredients Ooh. that you cook up right there. You're saving yourself time. You're saving yourself money. And here's the thing, too. What's that? This isn't a part of the copy. You're cooking things that you normally wouldn't cook. I don't care who you think you are. Yes. It's, you know, you're doing spaghetti and meatballs. You're doing meatloaf. You're doing this. You're not thinking of doing Cajun shrimp over a kale Caesar or this or that. They send you all these cool things that you would spend 45 minutes looking around the grocery store for. Yes. And then you have a whole bushel of it when all you need is a little bit for the recipe. Yes. And the, it's easy peasy. The biggest thing you do, HelloFresh cuts back on time spent in the kitchen with meals ready in around 30 minutes or less. Look at that. Plus quick and easy meals, including 20-minute recipes and low prep, easy cleanup options, provide an even faster route to putting food on the table. HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal. Holy heck, of the same quality. And you can save on average $65 a month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. 
Uh, that's money right back in your pack. In your packet, free and clear. Look at so that. go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage16 and use promo code Garbage16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Go to, <laughs> that's that's crazy. Bonkos. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage16. Use code Garbage16 Save for 16 money. free meals and three free gifts. Do it. Do it. Uh, HelloFresh. Hello, Fresh. America's number one meal kit. Do it. No, we had a semester in art class where we. <laughs> I thought you were going to say a semester abroad. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Mexico, learned how the coyotes work. <laughs> went to Tijuana for the weekend. Um, no, we had a semester where we were like making pottery, and we would paint it, and then like put it, uh, put that gloss on it. I picture that scene in Ghost with you and the teacher. <laughs> Isn't it Ghost or <laughs> Dirty Dancing? What this pie all over me? <laughs> That would get your little noodle. That was the that was very sensual. Demi Moore? What are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> was it Demi Moore? It was Demi yeah. Moore and Swayze, and right? Swain. He was nothing to shake a stick wasn't at. Wasn't he either. dead in that? <laughs> Something. He wasn't alive. <laughs> yeah, he was dead when they were doing that scene. Nice. Still Talk about me. the sixth sense, am I yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Boing. <laughs> Talk about the four and a half cents, boy. That's what I call a poltergeist. Um, <laughs> the judges would have also accepted the 69th cents. Uh, ah. I thought four and a half talking about my little pee-pee was good. The four and a half cents. You would think. Yeah. Yeah, she was. They, they were both tight back All right, then. three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Quit lying. You guys got me. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody, Kevin. All right. <laughs> This is a wacky one we're having today, boys. Anyway. It's the first time we've seen each other in a couple of days. Uh, back to the dishwasher. <laughs> or do we wrap that up? <laughs> yeah, I think you always go down. I think you always go down to be safe. I think you're supposed to go up for cleanliness, though. Right? Yeah. It gets in there. It gets in there. Does it? It gets everywhere. The heat melts it off. Yeah. It's like re-entering the atmosphere. I remember in the eighties, there was no such thing. I mean, you'd, we put whole plates of spaghetti in there, and the shit would just come out clean. Oh no, we were always pre-wash. We have to pre-wash. Really? I still will. I still will hit it with a sponge. Get, get the yolk the fuck off or the hot sauce. Or I sriracha. used to put pots, pans, anything in there. Nah, I don't do that. She didn't know what was going. It's my on. OCD. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take it a. Even know. as a kid. Mm-hmm. Jesus. That Denise runs a tight ship when it came to it's been fucking fun time at sleepovers with you, huh? When it came to fucking dish time, doing the dishes. Here's the scoop. Anything suck more than busting the table as a kid? Oh, it felt it was it was like I'm like, what are you guys? Like how twenty many, years I, hard I, labor. I know. I just had a nice meal. What the much fuck? Fucking butter. Like every time I turn around, there's more butter on the table. Oh, that sucks. Actually, so you get the plates and you got to go get the napkins and the fucking salt and pepper shaker and the salad always a fight. Recipe. Always. We don't even a... have salad, cocksuckers. <laughs> Take your own shit back. Yeah, what is this a sitcom? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was always a fight. Yeah. You do it. Fuck you. You do it. Screaming at each other. Me and my brother. Terrible kids. Um. Speaking of terrible things, like I said, I, sh- I should keep this. I shouldn't be saying this publicly. It's a little embarrassing. I'm peeing in the shower. Not in the shower. Not in the shower. Ugh. I'm going into the bathroom. I'm turning the water on, opening the curtain real quietly, peeing, and then just hitting the water in the tub. And this is a fat thing. It's not a, f- I mean. Well, it's because you can't pee comfortably at the regular toilet. No, I can do it comfortably. I just, I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wild shot. Yeah, but you do to the weight. So you've got sure. to the point where you're no longer using the toilet. <laughs> Think about that. That's what you just, that's how I process that statement. It's and just, I'm supposed to be like, that's trash. <laughs> it's, it's just easier to walk in there and just pee in the shower. Yeah, it's also e- easier to get cut I'm out. I'm hoping of- somebody backed me up on this somewhere. You're going to get cut out of that house at some point, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier than walking through the doors. <laughs> it's not a fat thing. The doors just hurt when I go through them. So I took the wall out. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. That's not good, right? That's not sanitary? I, 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 who? Uh, fuck all the other stuff. To me, that's just like you're rolling. This is very fucking Patreon. Mm-hmm. That to me is a preview. You're giving up to me. Yeah. You're going, oh, instead of trying, you're just making everything easier rather than try. Not saying you're not mm. trying to lose weight, but you're just going, oh, I pee in the bathtub now. That's silly and wacky and zany. And it's what like- I'm dumping in there. I'm sure some of those dudes were dumping in there. 
What dudes? Where were those guys dumping? The guys that are like on the bed that they had to get pulled out of the house. Oh, bedpans and stuff. Ugh. They're not getting up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> They're fucking letting it rip, daddy. <laughs> this kid's got the right idea. <laughs> yeah. The, no, stop no doing point, that. No. Force yourself to fucking bend. Because it's laziness. You don't want to bend down and clean That's it up. That's what it is, laziness. Yeah, you don't want to bend because you're a larger gentleman. <laughs> So you don't want to bend down Making and pick it up. I'm a carton of eggs. Yeah. Well, at some point, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm just barefoot now, dude. The shoes just really, they're hot on my feet or whatever. Why is that? I wonder what the steps are to that. What are, what are my steps? Huh, let's not look them up. What are my steps to fatness of to being bedridden? Shoes I've first? ran this scenario a lot. I'm a scenario kind of guy. You're, uh-huh. you're one knee injury away from yes. 900 pounds. Yes. It's, it, that's, and that's, you know, no, we, I, yeah, I think we might have. 900 <laughs> Toby. Nobody lives to be 900, right? Oh, uh, yeah, my 600-pound life. Ooh. Which, it's like Yoda. You're not that far from. Uh, score, one with, score with those broads, huh? Uh, you're um, the 1,200-pound sisters, or what's yeah. it called? The 1,000-pound gals. I can still see my little noodle. I I see a little guy. He's in there. <laughs> Let's me know I'm still here. You gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta lure him in like a squirrel. <laughs> I have an elaborate series of mirrors that allows <laughs> yeah. me to do so. It's like the Riddler's house. <laughs> I go to the Riddler too much, but I love the character. Uh, yeah, I think an injury, you're bedridden. One knee, you know, blow an ankle, something, a hip. A I, hip? I think you're down for Hips, the you got to get replaced. You fall, you slip on ice or something. My biggest fear, your, I'm a fall Your risk. knee goes, and then you're going to be uh, uh, the uh. size of a house. Blow up from there. Yeah, blow up like the world trade. Unless I get on, unless I get heavy on the uh, painkillers, I could could turn it around. What could all work out? No, that go heavy on the pills and slim up. Yeah, I come out of it. Then I hang on halfway there. Yeah, that, yeah. That, let's explore that route. Let's see if the trainer fucking signs off on that one. Toby, go get me a baseball bat, will you? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Tanya Harding, this guy. <laughs> Tanya Harding, myself. Anyway, those are the two things that I wanted to bring up with you. The dishwasher and that. Yeah, it's trashy. No good. Yeah, not yeah. great. She doesn't know about it. She's not a fan of the show either, I presume. No, she is. She, she checks in. She checks in. Checks to make sure the fucking numbies are there and keeps it moving. Something like this might loop back around on her radar. <laughs> okay. Because uh, I go through the whole song and dance. I flush the toilet. I want you to turn the thing on. That's that's how insane. Uh, yeah. I would, this would have been a perfect hard feelings to dive into. That's how insane you are. You fake it. You're like, oh, I'm shaving. I'm brushing my teeth. I'm, you know. Yeah. I'm rehanging the the cur- the shower curtain, the fucking towel racks. I hate up. those things. They always come off. What? The shower curtains. Because everyone's got to have the fancy hooks now. Not the clippy ones. Remember no, the remember the old cli- clippy we're, ones? We're a clip. You are a clip? We're now, a clip do you now. have two or just one? <laughs> For all, we talked about it. When I was, I, we just had one. Now we have two. Now a you have a nice one and like the, the liner. Yeah. I don't like what they've done with shower curtains. Yeah. Just saying. Not a fan. Like it wasn't. They were thin back then. You got one on the outside with a fish on it or something like that. Now they're too That's thick. That's real down the, the shore. Cloth. A mermaid or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But we just talked about like dry. I use it to dry my hands if the towel's not there. Sure. <laughs> That's what I'm wiping my ass did with. It, did Are it, you kidding me? Just let it hang there. <laughs> Your poor shower. Mark my turf. Yeah. What do we got, gang? Let's get to some cues here. Okay. All right. As you know, you sign up for the old Patreon. You get your question read on the air. On the air. By two professional experts. Yes. In the field. In the field. Of being dirt bags. Yeah. Um, This one, this is from Joe. New Irish bozo here. Haven't had one read yet. Mm. Welcome, lad. Have you ever scraped the butter off the knife back into the tub after making toast? Scrape the butter off the knife. Like there's like, you know, a little bit of uh, shrapnel on there and you oh. go right on the edge and all the crumbs. Go- Ooh. I had a big thing. If there was crumbs in the, we were a prom, we were a margi- uh, margarine. Margarine. Margarine Which family. is insane. That's what I know butter as. That's crazy. I would take margarine over anything because you can't. That's just cutting corners, Denise. <laughs> I mean, really. Save the money somewhere. Margarine? Yeah. You promise. do get the containers, though. 
man. Not we wrong with them. Strapped to the gills with them promise containers. You don't know what's in there. Oh man, fucking turkey fucking gravy and shit. <laughs> Roll the dice. <laughs> yeah, I remember one dude almost made me. I don't know. I I was just. So looking to like butter my roll or whatever I had going on, and there was like some roast Set beef of teeth in there, you know, roast beef stew or something. I like gagged. I was like seven, dude. I was like, "Fuck this!" I thought I it was jelly. Never trust. Never trusted a promise container ever again. <laughs> it was the perfect like weight and stuff. For- oh, it was bad. That's awesome. Um, I had a couple of meatballs in there though. Yikes! But I never got. And now like I'm a butter man, you know. Uh, but you, I don't, I'm a butter man. I'm a butter man. I, you can't spread the butter. The pat, like you, the, the that's why I like the margarine. Didn't matter how cold the fridge was. You get yeah. a nice slother yeah. on that. Yeah. But then it, I'll there, be there, there we was a lot. Through, there was a lot of crumbs in the in the promise container. Yeah, we went through. I'll be. We went through a phase. Sitting here judging me and my fucking single mother who's trying Country to make, crock trying we to make through. ends meet. Country down at the crock. Docks. What? Country crock. <laughs> Is how we rolled. He stepped over that. Uh, <laughs> Tebow was. I just called my mom a whore. <laughs> You're a nice lady, Denise. Good thing you don't know how to work the internet. Next, um, country crock melts too thin. You can't cook with it. Or now anything. it's very. Ca- oh, I always cooked. I, I. You did. I didn't know margarine wasn't butter. I thought it was. I butter. thought it would turn into another molecular substance. It's not great. It's very chemically. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Hey, I am what they I am. They sold it on Maybe that Maybe that's why my though. head's so big. Those two people you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's got margarine head. <laughs> this boy's been country crock. <laughs> Lucia, get me a muffin. <laughs> I'm trying to chop some of this up. <laughs> I'm going to be the poster child to sue big margarine. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be on like the infomercials. Have you? Did you eat margarine <laughs> growing up? Did your kid look like this? And it's just me. Is your forehead more than three feet? <laughs> Uh, that was great. The, this one is fourteen hundred on my SAT, which is a home run of a name. Uh, I don't know what it was out of. Are you garbage if you think doing bicep curls with grocery bags is exercise? Very dude, liver king of you, dude. As a kid, I was fucking. I thought I was. You, you had the, if you Tough had one with like the milk in it, dude. I was fucking bulking up for fucking <laughs> preseason, dude. <laughs> Taking pre-workout and Two shit. Two things a diet ice day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the big jugs of Gatorade doing oh, the Iron Cross. Just love fucking, those. Yeah. Love those big jugs of Gatorade. Yeah. I would drink a whole one of them. Uh-huh. Going to football practice. You get a whole one. Whole big fucking banger. That and a turkey hoogie. <laughs> Before fucking football <laughs> practice. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were doing two a days. I get that for lunch. Oh, okay. Turkey hoogie. Coach is screaming at you. Fat ass, that's a, that ain't a snack. That's a lunch. <laughs> it was snack time, god damn it. <laughs> now hit the showers. There's no pissing in there either. <laughs> He's got a napkin tucked into the neckline of his jersey. <laughs> Coach, but my party tray. <laughs> a promise container full of meatballs. Those are my meatballs, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on there, coach. I'll be right back. <laughs> the delivery driver pulls up. You run over. You run over to the parking lot. I got a delivery for Henry. <laughs> All right. You're jogging over to Albert. Boys, take five, will you? Anybody got a 10 on him? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody know if it's been more than 30 minutes? Give me a shoot me straight. <laughs> it is. We all eat for free today, boys. <laughs> a, a helmet, his helmet full of ice cream. <laughs> Like at baseball games, <laughs> yeah, but it's the but it's the full size full size helmet. <laughs> You're standing in line at the snack bar in your uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell's Henry at? <laughs> hey man, you want to wrap it up? <laughs> I got work to do. <laughs> now turkey turkey classic from Wawa. Wow wow. That's what I got every day. <laughs> My head hurts, dude. <laughs> oh, that's so. Funny. Everything wrapped in tin foil. <sighs> yeah, everything. Everything wrapped in tinfoil. The cooler was wrapped in tinfoil. <laughs> I don't know how much tinfoil we went through as a kid. I, I, I know. I still hate those fucking sandwich. I mean, we've talked about it a bunch, but those sandwich bags, the flip overs. That and saran. I can't wrap my head around saran wrap. It stinks. It's like I try to use it, dude. 
It's it's a you, it's like getting caught up in spider webs. <laughs> Get them all wrapped up. Shit's everywhere. It's tough. They don't have a good enough a good enough cutter on the edge. Too. I know. You should hit. You should have like a fucking bl- 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 blowtorch. Just like, <laughs> one quick. of those things. Yeah. Or that chopper they had in the back of the class. <laughs> the denogonizer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great Goldman bit. You're, they had the plastic scissors that couldn't cut anything. <laughs> Put in the back, they had a guillotine. <laughs> it's like, hey, lady, I'm 14. I can handle the scissors. <laughs> you got two kids beheading each other in the back. Uh, shout out to Gary Goldman. Shout out to the gold. One of the best. The best, mm. some would say. Yeah. Kip, how about those fellows over there in movement? Big fan of the movement. Very similar. I mean, they're doing a little bit better than we are. Sure. But they started out small, a couple of college dropouts. Bootstrapped it. Bootstrapped it, wanted to get in the old sunglass business, mm-hmm. wanted to take on the big boys. Yes. And you know what? They won because now they do sunglasses. They, they do, do watches. If you're not on movement.com, you got to go check it out. It's fucking fantastic. It's 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 high price stuff for a fraction of the cost. It's unbelievable. We got sunglasses. We got watches. We got the whole schmear. They're fantastic. I know. I wear my I'm not a big watch guy, but, you know, they they gave us the option. I grabbed the watch and now I wear it when I go out and I feel fancy, real fancy watches that look like a quality, like, you know, a four hundred, five hundred dollar watch that you're getting. You pay to the department store. Yeah. A fraction of the price. Like two hundred you bucks. You're out the door uh-huh, because they were built online with their own process from start to finish. So they, you know, they're not getting they're not robbing Peter to pay Paul markups, markdowns, the whole nine yards are taking it right to you. Get a hundred and fifty dollar watch. Looks like it's just like a five hundred dollar watch. It's uh, crazy. Also, my lady uses the blue light lenses because she's at the computer all day. So does mine. <laughs> yep. Uh, the ever scroll away at it. The ever scroll blue light filtering glasses are a game changer. It really helps with eye strain, poor sleeping patterns, uh, and the, there's a modern style on the frames. If you want to elevate your look with style that doesn't break the bank, then join Movement and get 15% off today with free shipping, free returns by going to mvmt.com slash garbage. Again, one more time, take out a pen, write it down, mvmt.com slash garbage. Do it. Kip, let's talk about Coinbase. Coinbase, that's where all, that's where I do all my shopping. Let's talk about crypto, Woo! which we got a couple of bucks now. Got to wet your beak. Time to play the market a little bit. Time Diversify. to diversify. Generational wealth. I got enough money in gold. Buzzword. I want to start rolling the dice on the internet. Yes. Coinbase is where to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Coinbase offers a trusted and easy to use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. Look at that. They support most popular digital currencies on the market and make them accessible to everybody. They even offer portfolio management and protection. There you go. Learning resources, a mobile Not app. Not some back alley deal where you're buying your crypto now like a dirt bag. Yes. Come inside. This ain't the dark web. This is this is bright lights. Does it right. Legitimate business. On the up and up. I'm, I've been a user of Coinbase since I started dabbling in crypto a couple of years ago. Millions of people yeah, in go. over 100 countries trust Coinbase with their digital assets. Whether you're looking to diversify, getting started, or searching for a better way to access crypto markets, start today with Coinbase for a limited time. New users can get $10 in free Bitcoin when you sign up at Coinbase.com slash garbage. Sign up at Coinbase.com slash garbage for $10 in free Bitcoin. Do it. Look at that. Now back to the show. Back to the show. Uh, this is for Max ten dollar homie here. Ever taken a photo in the lobby of the hotel you weren't staying in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that happens a lot in Vegas. Hundred percent. Because like that's like you know the lobbies have the attraction, the fountains or the fucking whatevers. Yeah, we've done that. I don't know if we've ever done one in the lobby we weren't staying in. We stayed at my cousin's in D.C. for Easter, and we went around. I mean a. There was like 30 of us. Like, I'm talking a pack. So when we rolled around in caravans. Be my Uncle Mike's car, my Uncle Joe's car, my dad's car, somebody <laughs> else's car. Sure. Fucking following each other around. The backwoods of fucking Virginia. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, we did that. We'd go, to, we'd go to the hotel and take a picture out front. Yikes. Do shit like that. It's tough. Yeah, as a fan. We never, like, again, we never really went on vacation just because we went to the shore all the time. Like, that was like, we didn't go away during the school year, and you didn't go away in the summer. This was Easter. Yeah, we went go, to, we we go down the shore down for, for Easter. Easter. We go everywhere. For, down the shore for Easter. Yeah. Ugh. I always hated it, but now as I get older, I like it. Yeah. It's quieter. You get away to hustle and bustle. You can't go swimming, though. Oh? Jump in the water. Um, yeah, so we never really did ho- like I got, I've probably been in like fucking three hotels with my mom. Just staying in a we hotel always- as a kid with your parents was weird, especially if you weren't in the same room. You were I don't in the know next if I've room. ever really. That's what I'm saying. I can't even really remember ever <laughs> doing it. 
I don't think the thought of like standing in a lobby with my mom waiting to get room keys is like crazy to really? me. Really? I mean, went to Disney once or twice. I don't remember, you know, but that was it. I don't know if we stayed at a house or so. I don't. I can't recall. Staying at somebody's place on vacation is a tough look. No, like they would rent a house. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like staying with like a, somebody used to be the neighbors. Oh, uh, the one, no, we did say it was me, my brother, and my sister in a room. Okay. And then me and my brother would share a bed and my sister would have a bed. Okay. So legit. Was it a connector? What do you mean? You never told me. Was your guy's room connected in Tampa? We have still yet to get the connecting doors for the hotel rooms for palling around. I don't think they do that anymore. They 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 don't. The last hotel we stayed in had them. I know because they opened the door. Yeah, they keep icing on. I'm trying to I'm trying to pal around with the pal around doors. Sure. I don't know. I, I, none of the rooms I've ever stayed in. That's how you do a little freaky deaky. And open loyal your... listener, my promise to you is that the second we do, you're going to hear about it. It's going to be great. Yeah. You open the door and you knock on the door next door. Do three knocks. Let him know you're into party. Show him the upside down pineapple. <laughs> that means Mind you're if there I pee in your swing. tub real quick? Is that true? Did you ever hear that? What? Upside down pineapple? Yeah. If you go so, to someone's house for like a dinner, if someone invites you over for dinner and you get there and there's like a lot of. Uh, the upside down pineapple is the indication for swingers. Really? Throw that in the old uh, Google Noodle. It, where is it? Where is it? Like an actual like pineapple? You would just be sitting there and like no, like a picture or a painting or anything. Just the visual of an upside down pineapple. Huh? Freak. I've been seeing it on that TikTok. Really? The upside down pineapple? Oh yeah. These kids are doing weird Real shit. Freaky man. naughty. Okay, this is. Oh man, it's even more specific than what you're saying. It's. It's cruise ship swinger shit. Ooh. So if you see a pineapple on a door on a cruise ship, it means that the couple inside is down to clown and probably gross as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's never the hot does that couples. Say, does that say the thing? No. That was a T-bone <laughs> zest added to it. <laughs> and gross as fuck. And you can all have to put shit on your hotel room door like that. Like a magnet or something. You're bringing it. They're looking, you know. Wow. It's like power bait. Or yeah, but also like just that? look for the bald guy with a ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> or me. Uh, would I ever do something but swing? Yeah. No. Never. Not, not your cup of tea. I don't, I don't know who would benefit in that situation at all. I wouldn't have fun. I doubt she would. And then some Boxes guys with my wife. Who's, <laughs> I don't understand any. This, this isn't checking any boxes for me. All right. How about you? I assume. No. What? Is this your offering? You just slide a pineapple (laughs) over to me? (laughs) Pineapple upside down cake. Which aren't bad, by the way. Listen, I know he's gross and fat, but if you fuck him, we'll give you two first round draft picks next year's draft. (laughs) (laughs) To to next year's Swinger Hall of Fame. Who are we banging? The Clippers? What's going on? No, I'm not. Yeah. Stays are behind me. I'm Um, tired. All right. This one's from Joshua. Know anyone that was born with teeth? (laughs) I shit you not, my two daughters were both both born with bottom teeth. That's power plant type shit. <laughs> I don't. Uh, you that's put, weird, you, dude. You, you put them immediately up for adoption. <laughs> Just chewing on nippies. <laughs> Think about that. That's gonna that's, that's gonna make them them bad boys rough. <sighs> and good lord. Is That's it tr- insane. Yeah. I don't I mean, no one I know. Maybe. I'm sure my family's so big, I'm sure somebody, well, you know. Wisdom one teeth. Of those. <laughs> born with a grill. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Walsh was a house. Cousin was born with a teardrop tattoo. <laughs> T-Bone shaking his head no. Dude, this is like Ripley's Believe It or Not shit. Really? Because it's not even, th- they're prenatal teeth, which is different from natal teeth, which are your baby teeth. Sure. So it's like an extra set of creepier baby teeth. Damn. His dad's Italian. His mom's a great white. (laughs) That's crazy. Three sets of teeth. That was the most age Foley joke ever. (laughs) Three sets of teeth? Clean up with the tooth fairy, though. Yeah, fucking make 15 grand. That's a lot. Yikes. Uh-huh. Both daughters, he says. He says, I shit you not, my two daughters. That's then genetic. Yeah, that's wild. Crazy. Um, I This one's from Maggie. First time, long time. Is it garbage to sleep on top of your comforter and use a throw blanket to sleep with so your bed is technically always made? 
I don't know how you do it. That sounds insane. Yeah. Just don't make well the sleep, bed. Sleep in your clothes. Yeah. Just don't make the bed. I don't. I, my wife will make the bed from time to time. Well, there you go. Either way, the problem's getting solved. But that's nuts. Sleeping on your comforter like that. I would always, if I ever fall asleep, I always end up taco in it. You make tacos in the middle of the night? No, I take the blanket and I, I, pull, I pull it over on me. So I'm in there like a little taco. Oh, if you fall asleep on top. If I saying. would happen to fall asleep. If, yeah. Pass out is the more yeah. <laughs> correct term. I was all fucked up. <laughs> Woke up in a taco. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, no. No, none of that. That's real trash. At any point in your life, have you used a sleeping bag as a duvet or a comforter? Or 100%. A couch cover. Couch cover. Couch cover. <laughs> We know some people <laughs> who will be on the show quite soon. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's tough. The, yeah, because it doesn't fully unfold. It's warm. Yeah, it does it unzips completely. No, it doesn't flat. the no the one hinge always stays. No, no, I mean a little bit. Yeah, they're pretty cozy, and they're water resistance for your bed spills. Uh, <laughs> I did have plastic or sheets. accidents, <laughs> and that monitor. Yeah, that's no good. Because it's about the bed. You're not like you're not like you're doing that to be a responsible person or whatever. That's not being you're cheating the system there. You got to make the, you got to actually make the bed. Sure. That's the thing is, is and I believe me, I could never have that kind of discipline. I don't understand the making of the bed. But I'm I also mean, not I know people like it starts enough. your day off. You've completed a task. It Everything. looks it makes the room look so much better. Good. I'm not going to in the room until I fucking go back to sleep. So no, I got to do more work to get back in the bed. It's a mental thing. I'm doing mentally fine. You start sleeping on the comforter and like a psycho. Why? I don't know. I just don't make the bed. That's what I said. Yeah. Fuck it. That's what I'm saying. I like having a messy bed. Sure. And I like having a sleeping bag as a comforter. I we had bad s- sleeping bags growing up. We didn't have good sleeping bags. We I know had pe- one that we shared. People had the nice satin on the outside and the like the flannel on the inside. Ours was the thing on the outside all around. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, it was not good. That's sweaty. Betty. It was like sleeping in Chinese finger cuffs. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it was so. Um, it didn't roll up right like it didn't stand by me. I was old. Was yeah, that was the hardest part of the rolling it up as like an eight year old. Yeah, what your, your brain and hands camp? couldn't do it. And I would just be like dragging her through the front yard, going home from a sleepover or whatever. Oh, they must have stunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never fucking. Barts and Skittles. I never like getting in it. It's too fucking. I feel like I'm in a coffin. I can't do it. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'd rather. I'd rather. You ever camp out in your backyard? We tried, and we were in by like you know ten fifteen. <laughs> as soon as you heard that first owl. Yeah. Woo woo. Uh, the coyotes came lurking. <laughs> Kippy was inside. Well, the one time I was really young, my brother and cousins were doing it. Who were like, you know, they might have been fucking 10 or something so i was probably like five or six or whatever and i wasn't allowed to they were like you you know my parents my mom's like you're not you're fucking six you're not staying out with and these i mean these fucking kids were probably smoking and drinking already they were like what 13 no like 10 or something okay or maybe 11 or whatever so my mom's like you're too young to stay out so i was i was gonna stay till like you know till bedtime and then have to go in little like fat the little ass out fucking there pansy i was <laughs> Uh, but then they didn't make it all night. You'd have a slim fast. If we <laughs> <laughs> Clear my head. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, all right. Looks like I'm going to head up the wooden hill, grab my slim fast and my bag of hers nibblers, and call it a fucking night. Golden Girls are starting in 10 minutes. If you gentlemen will excuse me. Uh, yeah, and then we did it once at my buddies just to drink. At yeah. like 16. Sure. And then still just went inside. Like, we just drank outside, and then we're like, it was fucking freezing. We way underestimated it. And we're all like, I'm like, dude, let's just fucking go inside. It's like 1130. We're drunk. It's freezing. Like, what are we doing? And we just went in and slept on the couch. What about you, Hillbilly? No, but I did go on camping trips with my family. Ugh, outdoor camping? Yeah. With just your family? Yeah, it was awful. It rained the whole time. Now, if, if you're like woodsy people, like if your dad hunts, if you yeah. do that kind of like shit. Like Yellowstone. Yeah, you dad- went out. Yeah. Your dad was like an art professor or something like that. He had no business being out in the wilderness. That's blatantly irresponsible. <laughs> I know. Could have got you, you real hemmed you, up. Everybody freeze to death out there. They always find one or two of them a year. Well, no. Some we, family who fucking went the wrong way. Well, nope. if, we, if we got chased by a bear or something like that, he can handle it. You know, start grading term papers. <laughs> <laughs> what would you take? Would you take like a little, like a little camper? 
No, we do, we go like campsite. Like in a regular. That's always weird which too. Is, which is a put, regular car. Yeah, just pull up in a Taurus and then hop out. And no, you need a Jeep or a Wagoneer or something. <laughs> something that looks the part at least. Putting a tent down in a parking lot. It's no oh. good, dude. You're just tailgating in the woods if you're going to a campsite. Mm. We did a camper. I've said my stepdad's. He's a woodsy the, guy, though. Hillbillies. Yeah. Rednecks, these people. They would do a... He's fired a weapon before. Oh, yeah. Bow and arrow. He's, he's pulled it on some family members. <laughs> <laughs> my brother snuck in one night from out boozing. Nice. And didn't know. My sister, he was... Something happened. I forget the whole story. Yeah, some nickel but got the dropped. That's what happened. But the fucking steel this fucking... He was about to regulate any piece of steel up on that property. <laughs> Uh, a couple my, of warning shots. He's in his little whitey tighties, and my brother's like, "It's me, it's me." My mom's like, "They didn't even." My mom didn't even know there was a gun in the house. She's like, "Where the fuck did that go?" <laughs> well, he's got the fucking snub nose. Two M16s calling <laughs> <laughs> in a drone strike. Um, <laughs> he's up there with the fucking night vision goggles on in his underwear, <laughs> yelling clear, throwing flashbangs. <laughs> Those are my biggest fear. Um, Flashbang. From when? I don't know. Whenever they, whenever they, ha- whenever the hammer comes down. But you would assume that's the way you'd want to go. If they ever come to get me, I want it to be like that. Who's they? I don't know. But they got hand grenades. Listen, they're not going to need hand grenades and flashbangs to get you. Just put a cheeseburger in a box with a fucking with a stick on it. <laughs> The rest is history. What's that? Pickles? <laughs> they can't get me. No, but that's always my fear is, is, is it was one of those getting thrown in a window out of nowhere. Like that window right there. It's all so. Then, you know, that's when you know it the jigs up. No, you got to grab it and throw it back out. That's the move. You don't just sit there. What you... if it goes off in my hand? Well, it's going off anyway. Ugh. Right? That's you have. That's how they got hemmed up in the town. Someone's got to make that move. But you jump on it. They don't jump on you. Get it the fuck out. If you, there's an open window, you fucking toss it back at them. Oh, be, That's be, the move. They'd be real pissed about that. <laughs> yeah, they that me. wouldn't be well received. <laughs> <laughs> now he just made a man. The Queens County Sheriff's Office doesn't take kindly to that kind of shit. Uh-huh. No, but that's always I imagine how it's going down. Yeah, you keep saying that. I don't know what you mean. I don't know. Don't you think about them coming to get you? <laughs> what? I know you do. Who, who are the no? I don't think about anybody coming to get me. Yeah, me neither. I do get nervous going into banks, but other than that. That's not involving you. What do you mean? You'd be caught up in it. You get nervous. No, I'm nervous. Then I'm going to get in there and they're going to be like, sir, you haven't paid your taxes in 75 years. You owe us. I'm afraid of financial ruin. Ah. I'm afraid, like that thing, like that dream you have where you wake up and you're like, oh, I, I, you're in school, like a test today, like that. How, and you're like, how did I forget the term paper was due? I have that feeling that like all of the money is going to get pulled away. Anytime that I've been in a bank cashing a check, depositing a check, and they've gone, wait right here, give me one second, and left... My incl- if it's taking more than 15 seconds... My inkling is to sprint out yeah. of the bank. But I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just cashing a check like a regular fucking, like a regular working Joe. Cashing checks is a tough look. Oh, man. The po- you know, gentleman deposits a check. I've cashed one pretty recently. I've cashed one within the last eight months. Whoa. Yeah, a commercial I did. Remember the e-check? Oh, they yeah. They sent me a fucking e-check. I didn't know what to do. I tried to deposit it into my Navy Federal account, and they were like, Garr. <laughs> they weren't having it. Take your treasures elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no quarter here, by. <laughs> so I had to go to fucking uh, Chase Chase Bank. I remember the timing of it was a little dicey. I was there at I, nine a.m. Yeah, I remember you were trying. I remember this. Yeah, you're the, you're very whatever problems going on in your world is everybody else's around you's issue. Sure, sure. If you need, it takes a village to raise a foley. <laughs> if, if you need a check. If you're a little and tight, two on- to feed them. Huh? Am I right? <laughs> All right. If you're a little tight on cash, mm-hmm. you've ran the scenario by T, but you don't think they're gonna seize my account if I'm um, like you run through and you go to everybody that you see that day mm-hmm. for advice. But if I go to you, that means you hold some sway with me. 
Some First of all, I of course I fucking should. Some credibility. That's, that's not saying much. But yeah, you also I don't honored. care. I mean, I have my pro- my personal problems. Don't become your problems. What can I do? I'm not I like, make them worse. What? I make them worse. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I lean on you a little bit. A little bit. What are you gonna do? Listen, I'm just saying. If I deposit a check at five oh two, do you think the financial institute? I don't fucking know. Stop being a scumbag and get there during regular business hours. All right. Well, if I do it on my phone, it's technically registered as. Come on, you make too much money to be cashing checks anymore. Eight months ago, I didn't. Eight months, ago, I was on a very thin, thin wire. Yeah, there was a lot of fucking, a lot of ball in the cup action uh, over there. We Three barely got Monty. this thing off the, off the I know. ground. Like the dude that bought the Islanders. <laughs> yeah. Except we got away with Except it. Except we got over yeah. the <laughs> Everything checked out. If you have not seen that 30 for 30, do yourself a favor and go check it out. Mm-hmm. Guy who tries to buy the Islanders. It's Fantastic. Um, all right, let's 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 scoot through a couple of mo here. Please. Um, <clears throat> uh, this is from Scott. Never had a question read. Have you ever ordered your own birthday cake? No. I would hope not. That's sad. Ordered your own birthday cake. Let me ask you this. You're an office guy. I've never really been an office guy. Sure. Uh, not the program. Um, for the record, it was a chuckle out of Toby. Uh, I was thinking of my own joke in my head. <laughs> and I'm a big fan. <laughs> I workshopped it, ran it by, uh, did some market research. Everybody's a fan. I was thinking something happened the other day. If you, if it's your birthday, that's something I said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Just laughing at something I thought. If it's your birthday at the office, is it your job to bring in cupcakes for everybody? Listen, what's the rule with that? I was very anti-social in the office. I never went down for a happy birthday. You never went down for a happy. Uh, really? I went when you're one nuts. of the somebody was retiring, and I got lumped in. I figured out when everybody was taking their breaks and when all the stuff would be, and I, like, staggered mine, so I was out of... I'd rather be... I was just out front fucking catching heaters. <laughs> About six heaters in an hour. Ripping darts, trying to play yeah, with the books. having a chicken parm, a couple <laughs> of fucking stingers, call it a day. I'd imagine you would operate in a cubicle scenario, like a like someone who's scouted a bank heist, where you, like, know everyone's rotation so you can move yeah. through without ever interacting yes. with anyone. It was very, don't look at me, don't talk to me. He looks real weird and business casual, too, let me tell you that. Yeah. You, look at you, you always look at you just got fired. I was very close a lot of times. <laughs> so you didn't have to bring your own cake in. It wasn't your I responsibility. I didn't even have a birthday I'm as just far saying, as they You were know concerned. the off, not you fucking Neo. Relax. No, I think they might. A lot of places do, uh, you know, like a month. Like, hey, on the 15th, we're going to celebrate everybody in June's birthday. Unless they really like you. If they really like you. Like the partners and stuff, they would get the, fu- you know, they would get a big bigger to do. Okay. Or like the people who were like there for, you know, fucking nine. But in years. that situation, it's not the person whose birthday it is to bring it in. No, it's not elementary school. Yeah, because well, when you were a kid, it was. And that's yeah, all well, I can Teachers aren't going to be throwing you a birthday party. <laughs> that's fucking weird. Take it to scores. Because <laughs> yeah, I remember that was always tension at the Foley. I got to make these cupcakes. Ah! Yeah. Freaking out. You fat little oh, bastard. I... Fucking cup guy. Drop him or something like that. Uh-huh. She'd freak the fuck out. Yeah. Smell like cigarettes when we got him. That's <laughs> the Bob Seger <laughs> in the parking lot. <laughs> Man, I got dropped off in a purple Intrepid <laughs> with my stepmom smoking, blasting fucking Bob Seger's greatest hits. A night lot. moves. With the <laughs> night moves. I was a side B man myself. <laughs> man, thinking, thinking back. Dude, uh, if your parents dropped you off at school with the radio blast, then you are fucking straight trash. <laughs> Turn their shit down. All right, love you. Love you. Yeah. Fucking turn that shit right back up. There was a lot of that, a lot of that, and I'd get a dub on the way. If my dad was dropping me, I'd get a dub on the way out the door. That, we've come to realize we did not have. I'm like, hey, you might still have the house if you weren't giving 20s away every day to the kids at school. That's how you live, though, baby. I know, fast and loose. That's the way we do it. Uh, Only way we know how. New money. Um, No, never bought my own cake. Bought plenty of cakes for other people. 
especially lately with, with the specific intention of a face throw. Spent like 150 bucks on somebody's birthday cake not that long That's... ago. Have you ever purchased an ice cream cake not for a birthday? Folks, this episode is brought to you by <laughs> Helix. That's a yes. I mean, yeah. You're probably all strung out, needed the sugar to, to keep the fucking hands from shaking. Uh, happy birthday, Charlie. Can you put on <laughs> it? Uh, yes, I have purchased the little Carvel Johns that they have at the, the end, grocery yeah, store. At the end of the aisle. At the end of the aisle. Yes. Uh-huh. As a substitute for ice cream. Like, instead of getting... As a substitute for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Swap out the two eggs and bacon for a little crunchy cookies and some uh, fudge swirl. Mm-hmm. Um, in replace of getting a half a gallon of ice cream. So I don't see it as that bad. It is ice cream at the end of the day. Hey. What is this, Russia? What the <laughs> fuck? I mean... Okay. Tell it to the judge, Fatty. Two things I take issue in those and what you just said. Mm-hmm. One is the it's all fat moves, by the way. One is calling Fat moves. <laughs> <laughs> a little too fat. Could have lost a few pounds. Eating ice cream cake. That was a double D side. <laughs> uh I, you called it a little ice cream cake, which leads me to believe that it was the biggest one available. <laughs> no, what are you nuts? <laughs> and you also said they don't keep. They had don't keep. You had to get it delivered. <laughs> Two guys. And, and you burn it up like a couch. <laughs> and you said instead of a half gallon of ice cream, which leads me to believe that you were getting a giant tub of sherbet. No, the one with the handle on it. I don't think sherbet comes in that. It just comes in the little, the little, little sherbet thing. To try to get that thing off. They still sell that sherbet. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. They do. Uh, they do 100%. But no, we haven't done the big tub of ice cream. That's early 80s. Yeah. That we, was we, we that was recession era. Uh, maybe in high school, too, to be honest with you. I was, they, she would rock was it out. still kicking in the early 90s. Yeah, she would rock that out because there was, you know, by that time we were like 15, 16. The boys were coming over. Yeah. That and the big the gallon jug of chocolate milk. That was it. Was like it was made with pure butter. It was so uh, thick. We never did the pre-made. Oh, we always. had the Hershey's. Obviously. We had the Hershey's, but the Hershey's. yeah, there was a stint. I'd say probably eighty-nine to ninety-four, where one of those big ass fucking chocolate milk things. Have you ever done the double chocolate milk? Would you pre-made chocolate milk and then put syrup in it? No, because the two chocolate flavorings never combined together well. I've experimented, <laughs> but I never put anything into production. It was strictly on the prototype level. You know, there with a hairnet and a beaker. <laughs> the chocolate explodes in your face. Damn it. Oh, back to the drawing board. Did I ever tell you the one? It seemed like most of the early, the late 90s and the early 2000s, we were a super fresh family. Mm-hmm. Um, and Which I think went. Either way, depending on each location. It was a very nice location. Okay. New construction. Okay. Very nice location. Because there was a super fresh right over there in Norristown or East Norton on Germantown Avenue that was... Downtown Beirut. Yeah, it was Stabby Alley. It yeah, was not yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. No, this one was very nice. New construction in like the fucking you know, late 90s or whatever. Very nice. Good time, those late 90s, But huh? she was big on that... Uh, like the 10 for 10 or whatever. They would do the deal of like, every, you know. Yogurts this, was big on that. But 10 this, for 10. But America's Choice Hershey Syrup. America's Choice was Super Fresh's brand. Ooh. America's Choice Hershey Syrup was 10 for 10, and she bought like 15. 10 80. for 10? Yeah. The fucking like regular size? Like, yeah, because it's like pretty much brown water. Jeez. It's so fucking, you know. It's like America's cheap. best. I've never had choice. anything. America's choice. I've never had anything from those fuckers that was any but good. now there's no new Hershey's coming in because we got 15 fucking America's best, and it takes like six months to go through one of those Holy containers. Shit. So for like six years, we just had this America's <laughs> best, and it fucking, I remember like squirting it down the sink and shit. I was throwing them in the woods in the back. 
I'm trying to get rid of these fucking <laughs> things to get back on the gravy train. Get it back was, on the good shit. Yeah, it was bad. I was like, what the fuck? Every time there was a new American. I'm like, what are we doing it's here? It's like smoking Ecuadorians <laughs> at the Cubanos. You know what was always good on paper but never good in reality? Wait. Nesquik. No, Nesquik's great. Is it chocolate milk related? It's chocolate syrup related. The shell. Bosco. The shell. No, the shell's That's great. The shell's nuts. awesome. I'm, right, hey, but guys, relax. I'm guessing it's something that I thought he. I wasn't. Well, you a- guessed wrong, bozo. <laughs> I, I know, wasn't able right. to purchase. I wasn't able to purchase magic shell until Purch- I was in. A- you just said maybe one word correctly. <laughs> 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 I wasn't able to purchase magic shell. That's what I heard from you. I was not able to purchase magic shell until I was well into of my age. adult years. <laughs> That my mother looked at that like it was titanium. <laughs> Magic shell. I'm gonna need to see some ID. <laughs> <laughs> it's locked up. <laughs> hey, you open the uh, magic. Can I get two magic shells? Next to the coruscant. <laughs> you gotta promise me you're not gonna cook meth with it. That stuff is unbelievable. We only did it once, and it was because like there was like a Sunday part. Like you know, some, I think my sister worked at a camp, and there was like some sort of Sunday party. And that made it back to the house, but we never. She, I, she's I, buying America's best fucking syrup, ten for ten. She's not going. Yeah. She's not pulling the shell out. And I think America's Choice Magic Shell is just a sock or something. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> just, just a dress sock, <laughs> plastic laid over it. Um, we also never got. I mean, I feel like I mentioned this recently. Wait, Could, wait, wait, wait. God, I'm sorry. Uh, p- peanut butter and chocolate syrup sandwich. It seems like it would be great. Never good. You guys never tried that? What? White bread, peanut butter, and chocolate syrup? I'm sure I've tried it. But yeah, no. Nah. I can see that not going not going right. No. I'm actually shocked that neither of you tried this. I'm sure I have. You know how that would be good? May may I may, may I may I spin this? A little magic shells, so it's not all runny. No, you would have to you get a pan, get a little bit of butter, throw the fucking uh the the peanut butter a uh, piece of bread, bread it, a little butter on the outside, grill it, then put a little magic, sh- a little chocolate sauce on it, then put the other piece of bread and flip it, make it like a grilled cheese, then slice it, put it on a plate, maybe a little powdered sugar, and then a little uh, chocolate drizzle on top. Then you got an appetizer. Then you got something to play with. That, That's that, not a snacky that, fat piece of shit. <laughs> Miss Cooper crushed me. Um, right, let's do a couple of more here. Uh, this one is Brendan. My wife said her favorite meat is ham. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big ham guy. Oh, no. All ham across stinks. the board. The big one, the 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 Honeywell or whatever it's called. Or is that the air conditioning? Unit? Honeywell is an air conditioning. Unit. Uh, honey baked. The honey baked spirals. Can I get the carrier slice. Those things in? are cheap. How much is a honey baked ham, by the way? Retail. Is that what we're using the internet for? Yeah. Welcome to the show. What did Ham close at today? <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's a Goldman bit. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. When, they say, when they say market price, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, excuse me, what did Shellfish close at today? <laughs> ah, he's good stuff. Love to get him in here. I, I, I just messaged him. Got nothing back. Goldman hit me up. <laughs> Gary. You pull him aside. You pull him <laughs> aside. Pull him aside. <laughs> Chubby <laughs> Trot. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't jumped in to anything that Gary Goldman does, I mean, the best. The <laughs> funny Chubby. <laughs> Chubby Trot. Hey, what do you say after all this? We get back up. <laughs> we get a place to get. You pull him aside. <laughs> T-Bone, where are you at? What do you hand? got, T-Bone? I'm doing Goldman's half hour over here. It's shockingly difficult to pull up honey baked ham prices. Are you, what are you, nuts? Go to the fucking website. <laughs> the ham website. <laughs> 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 Go to ham.com, dickhead. That's .org for sure. <laughs> Use my username and password. <laughs> no, honey baked is a company. Just go to Amazon, honey baked ham. Amazon? <laughs> oh, that's not good. That sounds like Russian hacking to me. <laughs> can't get a can't get a quote on him. What's the deal? <laughs> Honeybake.com. It's got to be. Honeybaked ham. <laughs> it's almost Easter. It's a, that's probably the first thing that comes up. This fucking kids on screwballs.
Honey baked. I do relax. Stop saying it. I'm going to lose my mind. With the spiral swirl. Uh, oh, my sides are, dude. Oh, maybe, maybe it's spiraled ham. Maybe. Google pressed ham. In a can? <laughs> no, pressed ham is when you moon someone and put your butt cheeks on the window. <laughs> Can't have that for dinner, huh? <laughs> Uh, all right. Ham is currently trading at ten at ten dollars and thirty nine cents a pound. That's how much it is for a honey bake. Ten ten dollars like, a pound. Like a hundred dollars or something. Ten pound ham. How many? What would you need to feed the family? Oh, I don't fucking know. Say Tiger King. I don't even like it. Dude. <laughs> really? Ham? That and some scallop potatoes on Easter with some like applesauce. I don't do the ham. I do the ham at Christmas just to appease my aunt who makes it. But ooh, she makes a homemade ham. Damn. I think so. Yeah. And then yeah, you like fucking juice it the whole time with the pineapples <laughs> and stuff. I don't fucking know. I'm not in the kitchen. Makes your gum taste sweet. <laughs> what dirty bird? <laughs> you know what she's up to. No, honey baked spiraled ham, delicious. It has like a sugary crust on it. It's fantastic. So I respect that. And when it comes to lunch meat, there really is no substitute for a good ham and cheese. I'm a turkey you, and cheese you man. You go turkey because you want to watch. Yeah, listen, you can't be eating ham every day. I get it. You got to go to turkey <laughs> for that buffalo chicken. <laughs> Shout out to the fucking Which boar's head well blazing docked. buffalo. Oh, man. The guy, the deli guys hate making it, though, because it jams up that slicer real bad. Because it, it falls apart. It's, and, so, it's so tender. But that, that the buffalo sauce gets all over everything. They got to, like, break it down and power wash it after each slice. You ever use a slicer, like, actually proper use one? I don't think so. Okay. I you know what I did for a while? I was working I worked at a butcher shop, and I would wrap meat. That thing where, like... You pull it and then you like fucking oh like wrap meat like like the steaks yeah really you got like like the yeah and you would fucking pull it and you, it was an art and then you have to like fucking use the weight of it to pull it were and you flipping the, them were you taking the expiration date off and changing them like they say they always do the I exposes would, I, on why, why why would I uh, say that on anywhere what are you talking no this is an above board operation anytime the meat's brown you know they flipped it a couple of times. Started out as filet, now it's a T-bone. But I was so Next bad Next thing you know, it's it. hamburger. Yeah, I was real fucking bad at oh, it. Oh, terrible. And they have that heated pad that you like. Sit, you sear the fucking... And I was getting... There's an art to wrapping up a sandwich. The guys that can do that really tight uh, like the... and that crumple and burrito, it up. You, you know. Oh, for, I'm, it's a mess. <laughs> it's either with a knife and a fork. Mm -hmm. But when I worked at Robert's Market in uh, Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina... Uh, we Quit had a bragging. Yeah. <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be a movie star or something at that during this time period? I was researching a role. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you've ever mentioned North Carolina down, I was shooting a movie for four months. I didn't know you were bagging groceries. I didn't shoot way. anything. I shot one uh, heroin. Yeah. I did one short film. That's all. That's all we got. It was a total bust. It was. It was. It was. That's a all we got. What it do you was mean? a bad move. That's all I did. It's not like you went out to Hollywood and you're like, I only got one role. We thought that was Hollywood. We didn't know any better. Durham, North Carolina. No, what was the town? Wilmington. Wilmington. Oh, where were you? We? Johnny Rockets. <laughs> what was it called? I worked at Pusser's Landing. Pusser's Landing. I worked at Pusser's Landing, um, East Coast Landscape Company, and I worked at Roberts Market. How long were you down Beach. there? Eight nine months. You had three jobs in nine months? Man, you are unemployable. <laughs> Kept getting fired. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Also, wait. You've worked three jobs and did a short film? It was, short film was like a couple of days. Then why'd you move to North Carolina? That's I, a weekend. I didn't move there to do the short film. We moved there to try to get into the business down there. They filmed Dawson's Creek. I was missing four. Wait, hold on. Beep, beep. You didn't know this? I go to theater school. I, okay, hold on. This was what. This is what I thought. Wait, happened. let's back it up a little bit. I go to the state wrestling tournament my senior year of high school. All right, then I graduate. <laughs> Bang the cheerleader. <laughs> I flunk out of college. I go to the Hedgerow oh, Theater. Uh, okay, we want to save this for Patreon. Okay. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Real cold like that. I <laughs> <laughs> just fade to black. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do one or two more questions, then we got to get up and get out of here. Okay. This is from Stormy. Is it garbage to throw two popcorn bags in the microwave? How would you do that? That sounds insane to me. And what do you put it on? 500? I don't know. No, how many minutes do you put it on? Because let me tell you something. There is no more 
situation in life that is a razor's edge than microwave popcorn. I, you, I know you, the trick. If you ever read the directions, there's a trick. I know it's a trick. I what? know what my trick is. What? I put it on three minutes. Okay. And then I sit there and wait. And once I hear it stop popping, I get it out of there. Well, you're probably you're probably even a little too late. I think it's I forget the exact rule, but I think it's three seconds between pops. OK, so pop one, two. And then but then I'll sit there and count because I'm like a fucking psychopath. And I want to get it. I want to want to exactly hit. The I like it post. burnt sometimes. Ugh. Yeah, Toby. No way. OK, um, there was a long time when Thanks, buddy. we didn't have a lot of stuff at the house. <laughs> Snacks wasn't great when I would get home from school. As like junior high or whatever. When you burn it, it was more of like a high profile uh, palate flavor, I thought. Smokiness? Yeah. yeah smoke smokiness. Throw it in the Traeger. <laughs> <laughs> little luck meat. Um, but I would do a thing I like Orville Redenbacher's fucking popcorn. And then I found this fucking sprinkle cheese, like nacho. Like, and it was like a spice, uh-huh. kind of. And it was like bright orange. Dude, I wanted. Like the powder and like mac and cheese. Similar, yeah. Yeah, hey, you're making your own cheese popcorn? It was. I tell you, you leave a, a fat kid <laughs> in the 90s home alone. Woo! Man. It was either that or Slim Fast. They come up with, we come up with something. Yeah. Didn't matter what it was. Mm-mm-mm. Put a little bit of that in there. It's probably nice. Because you know what wouldn't be bad is Parmesan cheese. A little Parm cheese on popcorn. Were you proper Parmesan cheese or were you the, the fucking craft green tub? We were, believe it or not, which I see how much it was. It blows me away. We were the the jaw, the tub of like fresh, the green one. Oh, yeah. What was the green one? Craft. Craft. Yeah. We were that for a little while. But then we're I, still that. When we started getting to high school, she started going with Locatella. Locatella, Locatella. She gets it over there at Kerperly's. Yeah. I don't know whose it is, but I know it's fucking. I see it up here. It's like 10 bucks. It ain't cheap. Yeah. It's where all our money's going. Shake cheese. Or upside down in it. Um. All right, let's do this, and we'll get out of here. Uh, th- well, this is just uh, th- this is hold on to answer away. that question. Yeah, that's fucking insane. I don't know how you would do that. Also, who needs that much popcorn? Well, I can understand that, but you got to do it one at well, a I'm time. Well, I'm saying if it's three minutes, throw one in for three minutes. It's not like it takes. I don't 40 see how minutes. it would work. You can't put that in there for six minutes, and it's all gonna cook. No, I. It would have to be the same time. It's not. It's. I think conve- it's not conve- or microwaves work in the sense of like. There's two different methods of cooking in the sense of like, regardless of the mass that's in there, I'm really jug- I'm really jumbling this up. It's not like one to one. It's funny because you sound like you know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> it's not one to one. It's dependent upon. So it's not like you put it in for six minutes if it's three and three, right? It's mm-hmm. like a completely new. It's not two of the same thing. It's a completely new product. If that right. Makes sense. Yeah. So like the rules for two doesn't mean one. I would say three or four minutes. Probably. Yeah. But they, how would they even fit in that? It's a big microwave. I, I just imagine like Steven Seagal like snapping a guy's neck and then throwing two bags of popcorn into a microwave, and then it cuts to him outside as the house explodes. Yeah, it's <laughs> coming out the door. <laughs> do you ever do the ones where you keep it on the stove? We gotta get out of here. Do you ever do the ones? Jiffy where you Pop, keep- buddy, that was Garrett. That was burn your house down in the. 80s. That shit to me you might as well. You might as well have been camping home on the range or something. We did. We. I mean, that's this is. I, I remember. I remember pre microwave popcorn. That's wild. It was lawless. You had you had the popper with, with the yellow like visor on. Yeah, it, the appliance, which wasn't bad, but the Jiffy Pop it always burned. There was no butter on it. It tasted like wood chips. It was just the novelty of watching that thing get big and watching the baby shitter shit her pants when mm-hmm. fucking she could ah freaking out. Never worked out right. Yeah. All right, just from Mike Peters. Then we got to get up and get out of here. Mikey. Has someone you know started a buy the bride a drink Venmo on a bachelorette weekend? I've seen that on the back of cars, like bachelorette party, buy <laughs> me a drink at tugboat.org or whatever. That... And I think I would do it just out of Wait, like... Wait, somebody you don't know? Yeah, why not? Yeah, your fucking mind. I'd support a good time. Okay? I'm talking about people that they don't know. Didn't we do... Weren't we on something, buy us a cup of coffee? What was that called? Oh, yeah. We what, had a couple of bucks on that. What was that called? Coffee.com. That's what the name of the, this. This is. It was K-O-F-I dot com or something. It was like a pay direct to the performer. It was thing. a very page. It was like uh, uh, a thing of Patreon where like you could. It was before Patreon. Or it wasn't Patreon, not connected. No, it wasn't connected. There's no way Jack Conti is coming up with some dog shit idea like that. No, no. 
guy's a fucking gentleman. Uh, it was very like uh, we did it when we did Hard Feelings originally, and because we didn't want to have to do all of this. First of all, nobody was listening to that. You know, nobody was listening to the podcast because nobody cared or whatever. I've heard. So I was like, I don't want to do a whole nother episode each week for like three people if four people join the Patreon. So coffee. If you want it, you dot throw- com was this way. It was like a tip, and you would go in. So we would do like for every five cups of coffee we get. Or it was called buy us a beer. So for every beer that someone bought us, for every six beers, we would do a bonus episode that everybody would get. So it was like this uh, idea of like, you could go like, I'll buy you a six pack. Yeah. yeah and then I that remember would that. get everybody an episode. It was like communism a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hear that, kids? You got to do a lot of shit that doesn't work until you land on gold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shout out to Sam Yam and Jack Conti. And we thank you and we love you and we appreciate yeah. you. Um, yeah, doing that. I've had people, I've gotten things like for to buy, wrap it up. <laughs> I can't let this stand. I've gotten, I've got a deep owner. Like, I think we're at 90 minutes. I've, I, I've gotten things from like, if a wedding's coming up to buy that bride a beer or something like I'll that. You, I, I was, hey, get the fuck out of here. Buy, buy her a drink. Help man. her cheat. Help, help her ruin the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> get her so fucked up. She fucks her. Cousin. I don't, I don't mind it. I, you know, if I was in, had it in front of me and I saw it and I had enough time to pull it out and, you know, send, uh, it's trash. Oh yeah, for sure. It's all garbage. But I support Especially it. It's a fun time. Fucking buying some twat. I don't know. Fucking her and her fucking fat friends a fucking drink. <laughs> fuck do I care? Sure. Can't stand bachelor parties to begin with. Yeah. Ruin comedy shows. Ruin nice dinners out. You saying ruin? Ruin? <laughs> Gang. You ruined it. <laughs> we, I ruined ruin. <laughs> Gang, we fucking love you to death. We appreciate you. Love yous. You. Get those tickies, like we said, for Cali, for San Fran, for Los Angeles, for La Jolla, for Pittsburgh, for Detroit, for Buffalo. Buffalo. That's Denver, the fucking next Phoenix, leg. Salt Lake Do City, it. Chicago. All right, you don't want to also, be out there in the breeze. Sh- Chicago is going to sell out as well. Get those tickets. Old Town's almost sold out, and then we got Rosemont. So if you want to come to Old Town, we're only doing one show in Old Town. Get those tickets. Get a ticket to Rosemont. Come up and see us. Right, T-Bone? Oh, yeah. Chicago. Rosemont. We love you, gang. We'll see you next week. Peace. Uh,